Hi, my name is Casey Hertz, and this is my friend Kim, and we're here with Fusion Video Podcasts. We're going to do a little bit of fun with uh, classical repertoire versus contemporary repertoire. So we're going to do a little bit of uh, short spine massage. So let's have you just do a few frogs, just real quick, in and out. So usually in our classical short spine, we are in a turned out position. Very good. On the next one, let's go up into a short spine. So you're gonna extend it out. Very nice, find those inner thigh lengths, reaching up. Good, now keep this length in the torso as the knees bend in. And then soften as you're turned out. Very good, and press. So we've seen that one before. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of a variation on this. We're gonna bring legs into nice parallel positioning. So if your clients have been doing short spine, turned out, this is a really great way to make them think about it all over again and feel different musculature as well as different stretch. So let's go ahead and send the legs back. Find that same articulation up, but you have to find different musculature to do that. So now as you bend the knees in, keep this lengthening. Now as a teacher, what you're gonna go and do is you're gonna press right into their legs and she's gonna soften and roll all the way down. Beautiful. And then press into the straps and up. Rest for just a moment. So what this does, this little bit of a hip squeeze, is that it helps to open up all of the connective tissue in the back, because that felt really good, right? It gives you a little bit more of a stretch and it also prevents the client from gripping in the glutes. So we're gonna do it again. And what you really wanna do as a teacher, and this is a good workout for you, you wanna make sure that you have a nice base for yourself. My legs are apart, I'm bending at the knees so I'm not leaning too much from the spine. And go ahead and bring the legs up. Now this is another skill, they're having to find their hamstrings here to really reach without gripping in the glutes too much. Now, keep the pressure into the straps as you bend the knees, use those hamstrings. Now I'm coming in with the heel of my hands right into the sides of her legs. I'm giving her a good amount of pressure. And now go ahead and slowly drip down to the mat. Beautiful, let's show it one more time, pressing out. Now the legs really reach up, feel all of this length all the way from the back body. Bend the knees, keep the sitting bones reaching. Again, heel of the hands, pressing into her legs. Really good for people with tight IT bands. And down and rest. Good. Thank you so much for joining us today and we hope to see you again soon.